Well, guys, <clears throat> I didn't really keep up with the cable management, this and that, but I did want to give you a final shot at what I ended up with here on my Lee and Lee PC 7FNW build. It took quite a while over Christmas to get my lighting in. I did add <clears throat> memory card reader. It's kind of hard to see. Nothing special, but the rules will. Everything worked really good. It was only about 20 bucks. The Sentry LX installed. Couple drives up there. The light I was having trouble with in the beginning was just a reverse wire. <coughs> For the final lighting, <coughs> I ended up using a <coughs> RGB LED strip with a remote control from LED shop. Little did I know it was in Hong Kong and took almost a month to receive. But it's in there now. It's a pretty nice setup. I had a blue cold cathode in there earlier today and I tried fitting it somewhere it wouldn't go and snapped it. So I'm going to have to wait and get another one in the mail. Looks nice with the white LEDs on the Zygmatex. Gives a nice shine off of the memory. The strip is back there. Um, this is for my cold cathodes. They should be here any day, new eggs quick. All in all, definitely happy with the build. I'm going to go ahead and kick the light off. And like I said, it's remote control. There's not too many functions with it, but you have a good array of colors. You got the solid red. Pretty bright. I think the kit was only $13, $14. Pretty good rate. Let's switch it to solid colors, red, green, blue, we put a solid white. <clears throat> then you can fade out the colors. I definitely didn't want to be stuck and couldn't decide on a single color. So I went with this kit. And it has a few controls, a few modes it can use. So random, strobe. I put the eye right in the front by the front fan. So anywhere around the front of it, you can get control. Got a fade. And the last one. Like I said, LED shop has this set. It's real simple and clean. It can fit somewhere and it can fit pretty much anywhere that you have a decent 12 inch length. It's it is flexible. I modified a plug 
ran it right off of the Century 2 there. What I did was take the fan controls. I only have a front and rear fan. So I took the fan controls, the first and second for the front and back fan. And then I have the third running my cold cathodes, where you can use the fan speed as a dimmer and also shut the light off. And then the fourth channel I'm using for this light setup. Whereas if I turn the fans down below 80, I get these same effects as I get with the remote, but with a flickering effect. It's pretty neat. At full baths, you just get the normal function. And then I have one extra channel. And with that channel, I'm going to get another cold cathode kit that's sound activated. But all in all, not too bad. Well guys, like I said, just wanted to touch base with you on the lights. I did wait a while on them. Hope you enjoyed my video. And the last thing is going to be my video cards, which should be coming by next week when I get finished up with that, do some testing. I'll be back with some performance results. Until then, have a good one.